Okay, had a good crisp practice inside today, uh, getting ready to get on the airplane tomorrow. Uh, we're excited for the challenge. AFC opponent, uh, atop their division. Uh, I have a ton of respect for their team, their coaches, their players. Uh, it's going to be a battle. So uh, we will continue our preparation uh, into tomorrow, and then uh, we're ready for Sunday. But with that, I'll take any questions. What uh, what happened with Anthony? Uh, you know, he practiced on on Wednesday, but you know, now out. Yeah, uh, unfortunately had uh, something going on with his knee. Uh, we'll continue to work through it with him, but uh, you know, disappointed that he's not going to make it this week. How did Joel look um, to you today? He's going to continue to work through that the next 48 hours. I think it's important to see how he responds. He's got a plane ride coming up, uh, but he's continuing to, to fight to make it. Have you resigned yourself to the fact that C.J. Stroud is, is out for this game, or do you not? You know? <laughs> I'll wait for the injury report and then maybe wait till game time. You know, with, with that, Mary Kay, I think you just have to. Uh, we know that he can make it. If he doesn't make it, it's case. And uh, we've done our homework on both guys and, and worked really hard to understand both guys. Uh, I know this. Either one of those guys are extremely talented and, and can win football games. It's not trending towards surgery or anything, is it? Uh, we'll update you over the next couple of days. Kim, I don't think we talked about the receivers and tight ends for Houston. What do you see out of those guys? I, mean, I think Collins is going to be back to play with them. Yeah, really good. I mean, talented guys. I mean, Robert Woods, you could go down the list of Schultz. Uh, I think it's an impressive group. I think they're really well coached. Uh, you can see there's a rapport with, with the quarterbacks and those guys. Uh, I, I think very highly of their skill guys. Yeah, I, I think they gave us some good reps, and, and those are young players that I think will continue to get better. Uh, all of these practices are so valuable for those guys. They, they've gotten a lot of reps to date, but it's not like they've gotten every rep. So now as those guys get more and more reps, I think you can coach off of them. So I anticipate that those guys will get better. Even without Anderson, they still have a pretty uh, fearsome pass rush, wouldn't you say? Th their front four is very, very good. Uh, you know, uh, just – they can hurt you on the edges. They have excellent guys inside. Uh, they get off the ball. I know how they're being coached, and they're doing a great job. They're, they're harassing the quarterback. Uh, they're stopping the run. They're, they're, it's a very, very formidable front. Gene Schwartz said that the goal for the, the defense is to embody an us against the world mentality to get that road game going a little stronger. Is that the same across the board for the entire team? Yeah, I think it is, Cam. When you go into those hostile environments, you, know, you really do – go arm in arm and, and you're together, it's, it is you versus that entire crowd. Now, hopefully none of them are coming out of the stands to play. Uh, but you have to have that mentality that it's, it is us and it's just us. And you know, I know we'll have some Brownies fans down there, which is always nice to see them supporting us. But uh, when you're on the road, you know that it certainly is your sideline and, and that's all you got. Kevin, Amari is on the verge of becoming the first Browns receiver to have back to back thousand yard years. Has, has he even exceeded your expectations based on what you've ever? Uh, yeah. Wow. Has he exceeded your expectations even since, since when he got here? Yeah, I don't know, Dan. I mean, he's been very productive, really, in his all of his previous stops and through high school, college, pros. So uh, I can't say that Amari having success is surprising to me. Uh, I've enjoyed working with Amari these last couple of years. Uh, uh, he, he's a great person, works really hard at his craft. Uh, obviously, as we've talked about before, incredible route runner. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm just impressed with how he works. And then he, that translates to the football field. Potential record, Dustin Hopkins, six points away from breaking Jim Brown's single season scoring record. I know you've talked, we've asked you a lot about him this year and the impact he's had, but just, um, you know, the consistency that he's, he's brought for you. Yeah. Uh, a guy that has come through for us when we need him. We, we trust him. He, he's been a weapon for us on kickoff as well. Uh, and then you know, off the field, I think he just fits in really well to who we are. Uh, he's a really good person, a great teammate. Excited to have him. In the spirit of Deshaun coming uh, back to town tomorrow mm -hmm. to do a, a charity event, what kind of reports are you getting on how his rehab is going? How, how, how are his Yeah, staying in touch with him all, all week. Uh, excited that he's going to be back in the building next week with us. Uh, you know, he's uh, living and dying from L.A. watching us play, but he's supporting his teammates every day. Uh, so be good to have him back in person.
maybe on the sidelines for the Jets game, possibly? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. How important is it to have Ethan back um, just because of the injuries you guys have dealt with? Um, what do you mean, being able to get him back for this game? Yeah, as you know, Kelsey, that center, it's such an important part of your operation and, and in the huddle and at the line of scrimmage. and. You know, we don't miss a beat with Nick. We're very fortunate to have Nick in, in that role. But getting Ethan back there, uh, a guy who's done it uh, for us uh, at a high level uh, the last couple of years is a big deal. Kevin, um, play action game has been such a weapon for you guys, even in games where the run game isn't really working. Just what is it about the way you guys, you know, teach that and prepare for that? It's a lot of it to still be effective even when the run game maybe isn't there. Yeah, there, there's so much nuance to the play action game there's so much nuance to the screen game the wide zone game and any part of of your attack there's nuance to what you're doing and what the defense is doing but play action in particular uh, it really does take all 11 and it takes great ball fakes from the quarterback and the running backs you know um, coach Koob was always famous for that, that that first rep of training camp play action even if it was like a good fake you just rip the quarterback and the running back and just tell them it was horrible just so that the mentality is it has to be great it can't be good uh, so I think the guys, the, the quarterbacks, the running backs, they take great pride in, in those fakes. And then it's the line as well. I mean, you can't just stand straight up on a play action pass. It's so obvious to the linebackers that it's that is passed. So there's just nuance to everything you do. And I think in that game, in, in the play action game, I think the players take great pride in, in those nuances. You went back and looked at the run game from Chicago, at, I think 26 yards, something like that on the ground. Um, were there opportunities there? Or, and also, do you feel like you might have to, you know, pull some things out to kind of get that going again. There's always opportunities. There's always things we could do better. There's always things I could do better uh, when you come up short in that regard. So we'll work very hard at that. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll give them a ton of credit. When, you know, these coaches are pretty good on the other side. These players are pretty good on the other side. So sometimes uh, you tip your cap, but we're, we're back to work and, and finding ways to make sure that we're uh, efficient and explosive. For several years in a row now, what what sets him apart from other left tackles in the game? Yeah, outstanding combination of size and athleticism and length. Uh, just he, he's the prototypical. Just when you look at him, uh, left tackle, a guy that uh, can can protect, he can run block, but uh, to be that big and to move like he does is really impressive. How much, I mean, compared him to other teams, you know, how much do they? Help him out when he's trying to, you know, have they helped him out when they when they try to block? Yeah, him? you know, I'd say like normal, but uh, they also have a guy in Laramie who can you can leave him on an island at times, and, and that can really free you up uh, to help the other side potentially or to get five out potentially. So uh, they understand how talented that kid is. Good. Okay. Thanks, guys.